It has been a year to the day since Trebez Span went missing, and tonight we are still asking the same questions. What happened to him and why? ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo is here with more. Dwayne. And Alan, no one wants to know more than the family. Police estimate they've received about 100 tips regarding the possible whereabouts of Jabez Ban. It's all led to dead ends. The family has even hired a private investigator, hoping to get answers as soon as possible. While many Suncoast residents spent time with family throughout the Labor Day weekend, Sarasota mother Tawana Span marks a year without her son. We thought we would, you know, he'd be found by now. Jabez Span has been missing since Labor Day of last year. And while the search and investigation continues, his family tries to hold it together. They just single-handedly destroyed a family. The Sarasota Police Department renewed its call for help finding Jabez Span, who would now be 15. Investigators and Span's mother believes Jabez may have witnessed the murder of 31-year-old Travis Combs a week prior to the disappearance. We have too many children for them to be running around here like that because if they feel the need where they might, you know, if, if another incident happens and your child sees it, then it possibly be, can be another child. We really want some, some leads from the community would be the best. Um, people that know anything, any minute detail, names, places, anything. Sarasota police have interviewed multiple people since opening the case last year. They are also collaborating with the FBI and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, offering a $50,000 reward for information on the case. There's no piece of information that's too small. There, there's no piece of information that's too insignificant. We'll take anything we can at this point because, you know, big things often start from small places. Sarasota Police Lieutenant Scott Mayforth says they have been receiving information from the community, but feels someone in the community knows something about Span's disappearance. We're pursuing the leads uh, as soon as they come in. Um, we still are receiving random leads um, on a sporadic basis. Um, at this point, uh, nothing has panned out, um, but as soon as the lead comes in, it is immediately investigated and vetted. Um, you know, we're trying our best to try and find, you know, Jabez and do everything we can. And we know the family is certainly hurting. And it's, it's, it's very frustrating from a law enforcement standpoint for us to not have a resolution to this case yet. Even former New York City Police Commissioner Anthony Shembri is in agreement. He says at this point, all that's needed is a sliver of information. Can someone come forward, give information, not become a witness, okay, but give you a lead where you could take your next step? And while the Span family continues to work with a private investigator, it's with each day that passes, Span says not seeing the boy she's raised for 14 years is eating her up. We miss you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just sorry. On September 8th, Tawana Spann is holding a community event at Fred Atkins Park in Sarasota to raise awareness about missing children. Two days later, she'll be in Tallahassee for a statewide event, the Missing Children's Ceremony. Dwayne, thank you.